Mud here. I'm at the Straw Bale Studio in uh, Oxford, Michigan, visiting my friend Deanne. Uh, the main reason I love coming here is Deanne. She's so wonderful. But she has this beautiful collection of buildings and little tiny buildings out in the forest to wander through. And I just wanted to show you some of them. I've been talking about roofs and I wanted to show you. This is a thatched roof made from bundles of Phragmites reed, which is an invasive species here. It's taking over the swamps, and uh, a lot of money is spent by the Department of Natural Resources to try to get rid of these Phragmites reeds. And what we like to do is go out in the middle of the winter when the swamp is frozen and uh, cut those down and uh, uh, put the tassels in a bag and burn them so that they're not going to spread uh, more Phragmites reed all over the place. And we take those uh, those reeds and we uh, bundle them up and bring them back here where she turns them into these really fun thatched roofs. You can see how the bundles are overlapping each other so that they shed water. You can see under here maybe. Um, but there's uh, uh, and then the bundles are tied together. This is a very basic shed just to uh, uh, protect a little bit of uh, firewood for the lovely pizza oven over here. Uh, that's got a metal roof um, for a little more protection and because eventually she wants to catch some water on it uh, for washing your hands when you're making pizzas. Uh, but uh, this, uh, these little bundles of reeds, uh, they're very durable. Uh, all the silica content from uh, this reed that has uh, evolved to grow in uh, the uh, swamps and not rot from being in the swamp, um, makes an excellent reed, uh, an excellent roof, sorry, uh, and um, you can, uh, it takes a lot of labor to, to collect the reed and to uh, uh, tie it up in bundles and bring it over and, and, and thatch with it, uh, but it's a very uh, low environmental footprint, very beautiful roof very long lasting. Some of the roofs in the UK uh, that were built in the 1200s are still using the same uh, lower levels, lower layers of thatch that they were in the 1200s, the others having been replaced and maintained over time. But I'll uh, show you some more as I go on through this walk in the woods.